Hi, I'm Vanessa. I'm Jenna. That's good. We're from Lemon Christie College. Vanessa, tell me something about your project. So our project is called The Effects of Catechol Oxidase with Potato Extract. Um, this is, we're investigating the browning of potatoes and we found out that this is because of an enzyme called catechol oxidase. Catechol oxidase works with catechol, which is a substrate, and this, um, it speeds up the reaction, the enzyme, and turns into a yellow pigment, which is benzoquinone, which is the browning that we see along with oxygen. And how on earth did you find that out? We found it out by setting up um, a series of experiments to investigate the reduced action of catechol oxidase with potato extracts or other fruit or vegetables. And what did you find? We found that um, we could submerge the potatoes in a sugar solution or a salt solution or in boiling water. But unfortunately, sugar solution, it won't taste right, so we have to use salt solution for potatoes. So is this why my wife sticks the potatoes in cold water before she puts them on? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my scientific piece. Yep. So and what about your results then? Um, our, our results show that we've used um, different temperatures and we found that the optimal temperature is 40 degrees and that the maximum pH value is 7. So we don't want the you know, the, the catechol to be too acidic or too alkaline. Um, we also find that ascorbic acid can also be used to reduce the action of the enzyme. And we also find out if you put it in different atmospheres, such as nitrogen or carbon dioxide, that this will also stop the effect of burning. Okay, so this obviously, I would have thought, has implications for the commercial market. Yeah. Um, yeah, this has implications for the food industry um, and also like, the food industry is really big at the moment um, in places you know they can use this for the storing of food and the ripening of food and the preserving of food so. Uh, we find it can also be helpful in like de less developed countries you know such as Africa as large amounts of food uh, have to be kept for long periods of time over there. Um, in a wider context then, how important do you think it is for people to study STEM subjects at school? I think it's really important because overall now in, in our economy, I mean, there's a lot of jobs that are developed and we are really encouraged in schools to follow science or technology, engineering and math. So, um, and a lot of people that I know just, they, all, they want to go down that route as well. So there's more jobs, I think. I think it's been a great experience for us competing. It gives us more social skills and it really gives us a competitive feel and also a lot of, um, a lot of acceptance. You know, we love being able to even participate. And being able to improve and to develop our project even further. So. And how does the BT Young Scientist then play its part in all of that? This has been such a great opportunity and even in our future we'll be able to say that we even got to this stage and, and so it's been a, so important to us and that we've been really excited to come here and to present our project. So. Yeah, lots of people have been congratulating us on getting this far, even applying and then getting through and then even coming has yeah. been a great opportunity for us.